Congratulations on passing phase 1. Well, of course, setting up and deploying Epiki in Android device was no big deal. Now, welcome to phase 2. This is also a simple thing to do. Just follow the steps and nothing will go wrong. So, the steps are can be found in this repo, AUS IoT Node.js tester. So, why do we need this thing? This is a separate project and we need this so that we can we can test our configurations and set up in in aus the I, iot cognito and iam and then if if everything is working if both end are communicating that means aus iot has been successfully configured so now let's start there are three services that we are going to use that is Cognito, IAM, and IoT Core. So let's start on IoT Core. IoT Policies. We're going to secure policies and then we're going to create, let's see, like test 6. Let's try that out. Allow and then IoT click this one and then erase this and replace it with all asterisk means all so this is our policy and let's create it now we have it here test 6 and then we're going next house IOT thing we're going to manage things and then create a new one create a single thing and let's call it test six and now next create certificate and then download these three folders uh, no files and i'm going to create a folder called test in my desktop and then going to create new folder search i'm gonna put it there download again save download the private key save and then also the fourth one don't forget this root ca for aus iot let's click that one uh, my internet is not functioning well let's refresh so here we're going to choose rsa 2048 bit key let's click that copy all and then open open your search create a text file save it and the name for the file is right here in the link rename this one and also remove the dot text yes so we now have these keys Let's close that. We don't need that anymore. And this. Now let's go to Aus Cognito User. And uh, wait. Let's activate first. And attach policy. The one that we created a while ago. Test 6. Register thing. Now that's fine. Let's go to Aus Cognito User. Cognito. manage user pools create a user pool test 6 review and create pool let's copy all of this let's create a new text let's call it creds and then save it here let's go here up clients not the app client settings but app clients and then add an app client test 6 that's my name create app client and let's copy the app client id now that's done let's return to pull details everything looks good let's go to cognito again so the next step is identity pool 
manage identity pools create new identity pool test 6 enable access to unauthenticated identities and then here we're gonna paste the cognito user here in our notes let's copy this this one and then this one client id then create pool now view details everything looks good allow and then let's copy this as well identity pool id now that's done we're going to i am rule We're going to select rules and search here test 6 and we're going to choose an auth second one click this one policy name drop down edit policy click JSON and then we're gonna add something here let's copy this and the action it is IOT. I think that's how it should look. Let's try to check. Yeah, this is the one. So that's it. Let's review policy and then save changes. So you have full access on IOT and then Cognito Sync and Mobile Analytics. Save changes. Now that's done. Let's go for I am user. Create a new one. Test six. Test six, and then program. House management console access. Next, and put administrator access. Next, next. Create user. and then we're going to copy all of this now that's done so that's it that's how you set up Amazon IoT. Now let's test it out. Open up CMDR and then let's copy this path. Let's go there and then clone it there. CD. This one should have dash tester. And then replace search folder. Let's go here. Let's copy all four of this. No, all of this. Cut. Search and delete these existing ones. And there you go. After that, replace pass that resolve I think it's talking about in the file here in the publish yeah there it is so let's try to change that let's see private key private this one copy and paste okay so next is certificate CRT okay paste that and then for the root the same name so it's fine 
and then we're going to change this and also the host we forgot to take note of that let's go back to IOT core we're going to get the host the endpoint manage things test 6 and then interact let's copy this one and save it here okay oh, it's the same that's weird Let's copy all of this and put it here. Okay, looks good. Now we're going to test it out. Go test. And for the channel, let's see. The channel is test. Channel. I'm going to subscribe on that okay there it is and then I'm gonna make it run so node subscribe so that means I'm listening right now with this channel so if I if I'm going to publish this one I should be getting it here so let's try to publish there it is hello from aus iot console we also have it here that's it and now it's our turn we're going to publish let's clear it this out and then here publish test 6 from my local pc okay then let's run node publish so first let's try to check right here let's put it here and then this one okay so we can click see it clearly now I'm gonna enter You should be receiving it otherwise it is error that's because we have this different channel let's rename it here and then let's run it again now let's run publish there it is test 6 from local PC so now we know that our setup is properly working if you have managed to do this you can now proceed to hmm, to phase 3 so right now my Amazon is already configured so let's check uh, let's try to type out configure list so right now I'm using the test 5 credentials so let's try to set up, set up the new one credentials we are going to so let's type in here call it test 6 house access key id house secret access key region 
Now let's, let's copy the key ID. Okay. The access key. Oops. And then the region. Okay, that's done. Now we have a new profile. The question is, how are we going to use it using this? Okay, and then we're going to also check if that is the current profile that we are using. Still test five. That's weird. Now I have to restart this. There it is. It is test 6. You only have to restart that. Now let's go back to my tester and let's check it again. So let's subscribe. And then let's publish like this is it cpw publish i receive it here i also receive it here so how about publish here there you go still working so everything is fine and it is okay to proceed to phase 3.